Hello everyone, I'm back again. I'm just going to show you guys how to install .NET Framework uh, 3.5, 2.0, and 3.0 along with how to set up application pool in IIS. So first off, I'm going to show you how to install the .NET. We're going to go up to the server manager in uh, 2012 or 2012 R2, both are the same setup or layout in general. Go to manage, click add roles and features. We're going to go all the way down until we hit features here. Make sure you have the right server selected if you have a pool of servers or multiple selections. Okay, so features right here. As you notice, I already have it pre-installed. The square box is just dedicating that saying I have only partial, but in this case I installed 3.5 which includes 2.0 and 3.0. After that, click next and install. Okay. The reason why I wanted to show that first is because in IIS, uh, default you're only going to have the version that you have installed. So if it's 2012 R2, you're going to have uh, 4.5. If you're uh, 2012, you're going to have 4.0. Just to show you that, that we're going to go into application pool here. As you notice, all mine are at default of 4.0, except for this one. This one I was uh, installing for uh, 3.5, 2.0, and 3.0. This was going to allow me to change the options up here, just to show you what I currently have installed. 2.0 and 4.0. 3.0 is basically in 4.0 so you don't have to worry about it so much. Now this is an application pool and basically any site that you add will always have an application pool. It doesn't mean it's going to actually use it. But there is a few cool settings underneath each application pool. As you notice right here I can make this into another application or add a virtual directory. On this case I went from my default site, went to my app folder, made it ASP 2.0. Right here I already made it into an application but I can actually actually added another application on top of that. But in this case I already have it set up it's already in my application pools here so let me go back up here. I made this one a default of both so I didn't have to worry so much here. So you have my 4.0 for so I have at 2.0 this is supposed to be 2.0. Now there's integrated and classic. Integrated is supposed to be using the pipeline that's already on there or it's going to be the, using the older version. In this case that depends on your application, so that'll be more worrisome when it was being built or when it's given to you. Um, to set it up on any type of folder that's underneath one of your sites, you just right click, convert to application. As you notice, it automatically sets the alias of what the folder is. It's going to be under my default application pool. I can set it under any one of these sites, but currently it's under default, so it's going to be under my default app pool. Then you have the basic settings of where's the physical path and how do you want it to connect. That's up to you on those settings, but that shouldn't be anything to worry about because default, everybody should be able to access it. You can always test your settings and then you might come up with the authorization access. In this case, you would have to change some configuration settings. Currently, I just want to be able to set up an ASP application for you guys. I'm going to click OK here. Now I'm back into this. Now there's a few settings that you can do to this. So manage application. We can go advanced settings here. Okay, so you're going to see the location, you're going to see what uh, pool it's under, preload enabled, and virtual path. Virtual path we don't have to worry about because that's just saying what site and what folder underneath. Protocol, we can always change the protocol to HTTPS, but in this case, my default is the only binding I have on here, so it's going to be going on port 80. Physical path credentials, we can change the credentials so it requires a specific login and you can change the type of login so we can go through a network interactive or batch that's up to you default is clear text now preloading preloading is a little bit nice uh, so say if uh, whenever you start up your server you need the site to load instantly well preloading will allow you to instantly load it so when you change it to true here it will actually load the site once before anybody ever visits it visits the site sorry about that now if you have it on false when your server, say your server just recently booted up, well the site hasn't even loaded once, it still won't load once until somebody actually tries access, accessing it the first time. Upon accessing it, then the site will actually load. So that's what this bypass is right here. And I hope that was informative for you guys. It's really quick and simple, I wasn't trying to get too much in, but so. Hope this helps you guys a little bit on how to set up an application pool and how to install .NET Framework for 3.0, 3.5, and 2.0 on servers 2012 and 2012 R2. Thank you.